series has just produced this report about the clean trillion, saying that investment in climate-related uh, solutions needs to be a trillion dollars a year. I think what's important about that number is the magnitude of it. Um, it's huge and there's really not one company, one country, or really one institution that can make that sort of investment. So, you know, I think it's important and sends a signal. Climate change needs to be a team sport. Um, we're all in it, countries, institutions, individuals, companies. We, we need to be working together to, to address climate change. This, this focus on the one trillion is, is exactly right. Uh, and this is an investment, this is not a, a cost, and will be paid back very much in terms of energy savings uh, and in terms of energy security, reduced pollution, and of course, uh, reduced risks of uh, catastrophic climate change. Institutional investors sit on somewhere around $100 trillion. If you take pension funds, if you take asset managers, you take the uh, life insurance companies, the sovereign wealth funds, there's a lot of money that they're sitting on that they're managing that they could be investing and they need to invest differently. It's actually important for a number of people. So it's, it's the public-private partnerships, insurance, as well as investors. Those are, the I, I believe, uh, the four critical uh, players. Uh, we need to um, move the dialogue from debate about climate change to one of uh, our, our population more and more is moving into cities. Cities are, are vulnerable today and will become more, more vulnerable tomorrow. And as the climate patterns shift, um, the losses will be greater. Clean energy technologies are inherently lower risk than fossil fuels. They have shorter supply chains, they don't have externalities, the costs of which are currently being met by defense budgets or, or by health budgets. General Motors has been investing in clean energy technologies for quite some time. Um, you know, some examples uh, include solar and landfill gas and you know, for us, it's really been a win-win proposition. There hasn't been a renewable energy project that we've done that you know, didn't make business sense and at the same time lower our carbon footprint. Climate change is real and undeniable and pressing and must be addressed immediately. It cannot be addressed without investments, large investments. Cirrus estimates that it'll take over a trillion dollars a year uh, after uh, 2030. Uh, and we have to continue that type of investment if we're going to be able to muster the political will to attack something that could dislocate so many people. The cost of clean energy has been coming down so rapidly. So we've seen 80% drop in the cost of solar in the last five years. You see 20% drop uh, in the cost of wind over the last three or four years. Uh, you see the batteries for electric vehicles have halved in price over the past three years. And obviously that's really helping the economics of clean energy vis-a-vis -vis fossil fuels. So ultimately, the clean energy solution will simply be cheaper, better, higher performing than the alternatives, than fossil fuels. I do have responsibility for investing the cash flow funds of the state and chair the board of trustees of our $45 billion pension fund. And we obviously are looking long term, we have to have the funds there uh, for our teachers and state employees when they retire and therefore we can't invest in something that we know is not adequately priced, that is overpriced essentially. And the concern in terms of stranded assets is that we are investing in assets that can never be used, carbon that, that would cause catastrophe if it were burned and therefore that's sitting in the ground as opposed to creating energy really. We know we can deliver a low carbon economy. Uh, we have the technology increasingly, we have the financial institutions lined up. We've just got to work together with policymakers, with citizens, with consumers, with our own investors and shareholders to put in place that framework which rewards uh, companies for doing the right thing. So we know we can do it, now it's a question of execution.